In this video, we will see the steps to create a sample SAP script. So here we will see our main main steps that is used to create a SAP script. So first step would be go to SAP 71. Then we have to create our form that is SAP script we have to create that is SZV sample and create. Then we have to provide a meaning. Then we have to click on basic settings. Then we have to provide a page format. We can provide it as portrait or landscape. So in this case, we have provided it as landscape. Then uh, we have to provide our page format also. Then in this case, we are providing our page format as DIN A4. Then at the last, we are selecting our portrait format. So now we will follow some steps here. That is first step is to create page. So here we are creating our pages. This would be our page one. And here we have to provide our next page. The second step is to create the windows. So here we are creating our windows. So windows, the title here would come. So this is the window that we have created. So here there is address, logo, main and title. The next step is to create page windows. So in the page windows, we have to add, go to edit, then create element and then double click on each window. So each window we have to double click here. And uh, the window would be added to the page and then we have to provide our appropriate height, length, width and margin we have to provide. Now we have to create our page format. So in the page format, what we are doing, we are creating an element and we are providing TL and description as title. So when we are done with it, so we are just changing our font. So here we have changed our font for family as courier and the font size as 12 pixels. And more, moreover, we can also provide it as bold and italic and underlined. So when we are done with it, we will provide another paragraph format that is named by NT and description would be normal text. So we can also change the font family font size also for this also. The next step is that is to create a text element in the main window. Then for that we are just going to the pages window. Then we are double clicking on the main window and click on text editor. And we have to write our code here. So this is the code that we have written. And similarly for the we have to create address window and pass our address number. For similarly we will pass our code for the address window. So here we have passed our code for address window. Now we have to create a logo so that we can display the header. So for that we will go to SE78 to just uh, upload our logo into SAP system. For that we will go to SE78, we will expand the graphics here and then we will choose the BMAP and bitmap images. So this particular screen would appear. We will just put our in the left corner there will be a select file by and then we will click on F4 button. We will give our name, description and select our colored bitmap. So there would be an option to select the colored bitmap or black and white itself. And we can also print preview, preview and check it. So here we can see our output uh, image is coming. So this is the image that we have uploaded into SAP system. Next step is to go to page windows, double click on the logo so that we can import it into this particular SAP script. So we have to provide this particular uh, code here that is bitmap logo. Logo was our name of the logo that we have uploaded into SAP and object. When this is done, then we have to create a title and display it using paragraph format. So for that, we have to go to pages windows, double click on the title and window. So this is the title one. So we have to double click on the title and write the code as invoice. Then our Output would come here something like this. We can move it or change its size here of this particular windows and we can also rearrange it. Now just click on the basic settings, give the first page as page one and the default, uh, default paragraph format as NT that we have already maintained. Then just click on save and activate the form. Then, then we, at the last we have to write our driver program. So we have created our SAP script. So to run it, we have to write our driver program. So this is a sample program that we have written. We have calling our function open form. We are calling our function write form. So at the last, we can see when we are executing this particular program, our SAP script will be coming here. Now let us see all these steps in detail practically. So first we need to go to transaction code SE71. And then we have to provide a form name. 
and now we have to provide a form name let it be zv underscore sample so here we go and we have to click on create now we have to provide a meaning name let it be meaning itself now we have to click on basic settings here so we can select the orientation as portrait format or maybe a landscape format itself so if it is portrait format uh, we are giving the page format as DINA4 and we are selecting portrait format so I have clicked on basic settings so if we see the full steps here so there are mainly eight steps I have noted it down in my code snip so the step one is to create page and then windows and similarly page windows then we have to create page formats then we have to create a text element in the main window for displaying a particular text and in the sixth step we can see we have to create an address window and pass the address number and at the seventh step we are creating a logo and displaying it in the script and for for uh, displaying logo we have different transaction code where we are importing the logo and all so we will see all this in a detail and at the eighth step we are creating a title and displaying it using a page paragraph format so we will be going through all these steps one by one so first is to create the page and for that here we have pages we will click on it okay now we have to click on edit and create element so in the menu header here we have to create element so page we have to name it as something so I am naming it as page one itself and meaning it as page one itself so I'm clicking on tick so that's it and here we haven't named the next page so we have to page name the next page so we can name it as page one itself so there we go so this was our first step that is to create a page now we have the second step that is to create the windows so page is done now we click on windows so here we see that main is by default itself so we need to add more windows here so for that we will go on and click on edit and we will click on create element so here we will name window name suppose it, it is title itself title and the meaning as title so here we go so this is added so similarly we can add multiple other so suppose we are adding logo for that we have to click on edit create element uh, window should be logo and meaning should be logo itself okay so this is also added and now we will add address so for that go to edit click on create element and here write address so that's done so we are done with the second step also now moving on to the third step that is to create page windows so here we can see this is the third step we have to create page windows so this is done now to create page window we have clicked on page windows okay now we are clicking and now in the edit similar step we have to create element so we can see all these windows coming here so we have to double click on each element here so let us double click on address so it is here we can see and we have to provide basic margins here suppose we are providing 6 and press enter so we can see all these values are updated here so similarly we have to do for all the other window elements so for logo I am placing the left margin as something else so for the time being I am just placing it as randomly we will see in the later steps that we can drag and drop 
all the window elements that are coming on the layout and we can maintain the left margin upper margin everything so I'm pressing enter so it is updated create element and for the main I will 3 enter and the last one which was okay so main was done title is left so there we go so this was the third step that is to create page windows so now this is also done now moving on to the fourth step that is let us see what was the fourth step create paragraph formats so now we have to click on paragraph formats okay now again repeating the steps going to edit clicking on create element so here we can see paragraph elements here so suppose let us name the paragraph format as TL and meaning as and description okay meaning as title so it is here we can see so now we have a font here font button we can click on it and we can provide the family of the font for example we are choosing Korea let us use this Korea and font size should be something meaningful let us name it as 16 ok so we have to repeat the same with the other page formats so I am pressing enter so we can see all these are coming here so I can also make it as bold also so it will come here so that's done so creating under create element and now I will name it as something as NT and description as normal text so that's done and I will update the family as courier font size as 12 and pressing enter so that's done so our fourth step is also over now moving on to the fifth step and which is to create a text element in the main window for displaying some text so we have to create a text element here now going back to the page windows here and here we can see double click on the main window and click on text editor and let us see this is the main so double click on it and just here we can see text elements click on it ok allow so here we have to write our code I have already copied it ok so that's done so we have written the code for the main window now going to the next step which was create address window and path address number so we have already created text here text element in the main window as we have written our code similarly we will write our code for the address window so this is the address window here we will double click on it and click on text editor so here we will write our code save it and go back so that's done if I just double click on it and go to text so it should be appearing there yes it is appearing there so now that is done now moving on to the next step that is to create a logo and display it in the script ok now to create a logo we have to go to under transaction code that is SC78 for that I will use a new window and SC78 now we have to expand this graphics node and double click on BMP and now we have to import and we have to provide a file name here we can use a particular file BMP file I have already placed it on the desktop hello so that's done that's good and we have already imported with the button import now we have to select the file we have already done that 
Now press enter, this logo should be saved into SAP. Okay, we have to provide the name on title. BMP description should be something meaningful BMP let us make it as color B bitmap image allow so it's taking time so this is done it is the logo is saved into SAP and we can click on print preview and so that this particular graphic should be available so here it is we can see our image here in SAP so it is already imported into SAP so this this was part of the step 7 that is create a logo so we have created the logo now we are doing displaying it in the script so we can close this now go to page windows so we are on the page windows itself so here we can see logo so here click on text editor now here we can write the code or just insert and we can insert the code here that is the logo that we have already made clicking on this symbols command so we have to write the code for our logo here let us write our code which was bitmap logo object so that's done we will go back so that is also done so our seven step is completed that was to create the logo and display it in the script using that code we are displaying it in the script so this is the eighth step uh, which is to create a title and display it using paragraph format now go to page windows we are already on the page windows and double click on the title and click on text editor and just simply write here invoice so that's done here there would be a graphical form painter here we are just saving local object let's go back we have to click on graphical form painter and continue tick so that's done click on layout so here we can see all the windows that we have made so we have given particular centimeters and because of which it is coming like this we can now rearrange it we can move it somewhere here okay I have to change it now I will go to settings form painter click on graphical form painter so now I could change it so suppose I am placing in the main here address here I don't want the address to be this big I will shorten it and the title should be somewhere here the logo should appear here so that's done I will save it and go to settings form painter click on this uncheck it click on the disk so that's done so if we see page windows here we can see all these margins or standard attributes for the left and right margin have been changed so since we have rearranged our windows on the graphical format so that's done and next step is to click on the basic settings and if we just go back we have to save it yes uh, change here when we click on page header just click on basic settings give the first page as page 1 so first page is this one so we have to provide it page 1 so that's done and we have to make the default parameter that is default paragraph formatter as NT so that's done we will save it and activate now now we have to go to SE38 we have to just write our driver program that is we have created our 
screen painter so we have to write our driver program and for that we have to write a simple program in a web editor for that we are just going to this program and we have to write in a new report so I am naming it as ZV underscore sample driver so this sounds good so I am just creating it now title should be driver program okay executable click on save local object so that's good so here we will write our code so I have copied my code so here we have taking our data that is variable which is of the type this and the parameters we are giving as p address the type is this and we are calling our function open form and in this we are passing form data that is zv sample that we have already created there in the screen painter sap scripts this was the name that we have provided and this is the language system variable that we are providing and at the last we are calling a one more function that is write form in which the exporting parameters are body and main so and at the last we are calling one more function which is close form I will save it check and activate it so that's done now if we execute it our screen painter should be coming so we have to provide the proper address here and with the proper print preview that is the we have to also provide um, the printer settings so when we click on print preview our screen painter screen should be coming so I hope these steps were clear to you all the nine steps or eight steps are here and we have to just follow all these steps to meet our business requirement according to the needs so that's it for this video thanks for watching